What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, consider subscribing, share the video uh, if you can, if you want to, and uh, it helps me grow. How often should OGs train in BJJ? Per week, by the way. So the short answer would be anywhere, uh, I would say up to six times. Now, why do I say six and not seven? Because I believe you always should take one day off to relax, to really just do, I wouldn't say nothing. You could do something else. Like you could walk, you could bike, you could do some uh, stretching, yoga or whatever. But I mean, just to take off from jujitsu so that, you know, like you're, give yourself time to recover. Now, as opposed to judo, judo in another video, I recommended and you know, two to three, you know, two hard sessions for older guys, two hard sessions a week is enough. And then after that, if you want to add in a session or two, but keep it really light, you know, but I would, I would suggest keeping a couple of days a week to uh, a couple of sessions a week to weight train instead. Now with BJJ, BJJ is very popular among OGs, right? OGs meaning I'm 41 guys, but OGs usually we're talking about, uh, yeah, around that age or maybe in, in your mid thirties or early thirties, right? By that time, some of us have accumulated a lot of damage and all that. And when you want, when you start a martial art like BJJ, it's really fun for older guys because like you progress very fast. So that's really gratifying. It's fun and it's not dangerous because it's on the ground. So if it's on the ground, like your chances of getting hurt, you know, are much, much less than if you do judo. Judo, it's like, man, you gotta learn how to fall first and then you gotta learn how to roll. And after that, you have to learn all the footwork, this and that. And even then, then when you start sparring, it's like a completely different game. There's a lot of anxiety, fear, and nervousness involved, like in terms of, you know, getting thrown, you know, like it's something that you have to get used to. It's very, uh, it's hard for somebody to start uh, judo when they're a little bit older. I'm not saying it's impossible because I started when I was 36, uh, but I already knew how to break fall. I learned that in BJJ, surprisingly. BJJ for older guys, amazing. You can train often because it's on the ground. You, no chances of, uh, of you falling. They, they sometimes start standing up and they do takedowns, but for the most part, guys just, you know, start on the ground and, and then they roll. Easier on the body, easier for the recovery. Uh, depends, of course, how hard you roll. Like I, I would say that um, if you're going like six times a week, maybe three hard rolls, the three other, uh, you know, keep it light, keep it more technical, train different positions. Like there's still a danger to it in the sense that like your lower back is gonna be affected. A lot of BJJ guys have lower back issues because you know, they, you're, you're in a very crunched up position and then people are trying to pass your guard and then your legs are like, you know, you're bent in half, your legs are all the way up here, you know, uh, and then you're trying to maneuver and you're pushing and pulling. So I do recommend that um, you have to listen to your body. So if you do something to the effects of uh, three hard trainings a week, keep the other two like lighter. Rolling is super fun, but you gotta vary the intensities too. You, do, uh, you could drill instead, you could do all kinds of things, you know. Uh, so I, 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 could, I would say that. You could, you could easily do three to four hard sessions a week and then keep the rest of it light. That's it for this video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down below uh, what you think, uh, how you guys doing, how, do you guys, uh, how often you guys train, and also how many days you take to recover. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.